Good afternoon. My name is Jacqueline Frost and on behalf of the Executive Director of Sydney Catholic Schools, Mr Tony Farley, it is my pleasure to welcome you this afternoon. I'd like to particularly welcome the principals and assistant principals from across our system, the parish priests of the schools being announced, the Sydney Catholic Schools executive team and the many staff and parents who are watching live via stream this afternoon. This afternoon, we'll be announcing three principal positions for 2021 and hear a few words from each leader. We ask everyone on the Zoom call to please take a moment to ensure that their microphones are muted. This is incredibly important to ensure that your colleagues are given the opportunity to speak about their new appointment. You can use the reaction button if you're on the Zoom meeting or those of you who are watching the live stream can use the comment function. I'd now like to welcome the Director of Mission and Identity, Dr. Anthony Cleary, to lead us in prayer and in acknowledgement of country. Uh, thank you, Tony and Jacqueline. So today we acknowledge the Gadigal people of the Aora Nation and all First Nations peoples across the Sydney Basin. We acknowledge this world's oldest people in this, the world's youngest continent. We acknowledge their custodianship of the land and most importantly, we commit ourselves as a Christian community to always work with them collaboratively and for justice and peace. We see not only in their elders, but in their young people, a people who bring great wealth of experience and great opportunities to this great, great nation, the great Southland of the Holy Spirit. And so we pray in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord our God, in your wisdom, you sent us your Son to teach us by word and example, knowing that true wisdom comes from you alone. Send your Spirit upon all of our leaders and fill them with your wisdom and blessing. Give them the desire to continue in their service of the gospel and their dedication to serve our communities, especially the poor and the most vulnerable. Grant to each of us, but especially our new leaders, that they may always continue to follow the example of Jesus, the way, the truth and the life, knowing that fullness of life comes from him alone. We make our prayer in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you, Anthony. I would now like to introduce the Executive Director of Sydney Catholic Schools, Mr. Tony Farley, to share a few words on our newest appointments. Thank you, Jacqueline. The process of choosing a principal to lead a school is extensive and complex. Each school community has its own history, traditions, customs, and expectations. The person that's chosen to lead a school community must have the wisdom, judgment, and insight to both lead and become part of their school community to walk with and beside students, parents and staff in their respective journeys of teaching, learning and supporting each other in the great enterprise that is Catholic education. A school principal is above all a leader of learning. Their primary role and function is to provide each student with the strong foundations of literacy, numeracy and faith become, that become the springboard for a lifetime of growth and learning. Upon these foundations are built skills in critical and analytical thinking, problem solving and collaborations that simulate the real world of work into which our students will go. To function effectively, schools necessarily create order and design in how teaching and learning takes place. To be clear about what's expected of students, staff and parents is essential if a principal is to successfully lead a school. And yet we ask even more of our principals than that. As the world transforms around us, our schools need to be places of innovation and change that respond to the expectations of our parents and students and the broader communities to which they belong. Our principals need to have the confidence and vision to challenge themselves and their staff to embrace the future with intelligence, measure, optimism and resilience. To be Old Testament about it, principals need to have the wisdom of Solomon and the patience of Job. On any given day, they'll be presented with a multitude of issues and problems, both big and small, that don't always readily lend themselves to easy solutions. While it's a tall order, our principals meet these challenges with grace and professionalism day in and day out. They succeed through hard work, 
rigorous logic and clear processes that are constantly monitored and evaluated to ensure their relevance and their efficacy. Above all, they work with the teams of dedicated teachers, support staff and other principals who make up a system of 150 schools, 70,000 students and 45,000 parents. The three principals we announced this afternoon will never be alone in the extraordinarily demanding and rewarding job of leading their school communities. They are part of a much bigger church and system of schools that is there to support them in whatever way they can so that they can in turn guide students to discover who they are and how they can contribute most fruitfully to the beauty of the earth and God's gift of human life. I give thanks to God for the honour of now announcing our three new principals. This afternoon, we'll begin with the announcement for Don Ramey College at Five Dock. I'm pleased to announce Mrs. Antoinette McGahn as the principal for 2021. Antoinette is a highly experienced and respected leader in Catholic education and is currently the principal of St. Clair's College Waverley. She has a proven record that is evidenced in the growth and success of the school staff and students she has led. Key to this success has been the creation of a cohesive culture that embraces collaboration and high expectations. Antoinette is excited to deliver an edu exceptional education through learning that is positive, holistic, reflective, tailored and experiential. Congratulations, Antoinette. Good afternoon, everyone. It's with mi mixed emotions that I farewell my community at St. Clair's College. Over the past six years, I've been fortunate to have had the opportunity to work with a team of dedicated professionals who place the education of our students in the highest regard. As I bid farewell to St. Clair's, I feel immensely fortunate to have been given the opportunity to lead the staff and students at John Ramey College from 2021. At this point, I would like to acknowledge the exceptional contribution that Vivian Awad has made to the college from whom I inherit an amazing set of achievements. I look forward to the challenges and the exciting journey that lies ahead of me at Dom Ramey and eagerly await the opportunity to meet and work with the staff, students, parents, the presentation sisters and Father Phil at Five Dock. Thank you everyone, take care and God bless. Thank you, Antoinette. Our next school this afternoon is Our Lady Star of the Sea at Hurstville. I'm pleased to announce Mrs. Rebecca Besley as the principal for 2021. Rebecca is currently the assistant principal at St. Catherine Labore Gaimea, where she has led strategic change and improvement of student learning outcomes and created school-wide approaches to professional learning. Rebecca has demonstrated a deep understanding of learning and well-being, which celebrates the distinctive educational, moral and social purpose of our system of schools. Congratulations, Rebecca. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Jacqueline. I'd like to extend a very warm hello to the community of St. Mary's Star of the Sea at Hurstfall. I'm looking forward to joining you all at the beginning of 2021 and am honoured to be able to do this in the role of principal. I'd like to acknowledge the strong foundations of the school and the community as established by my predecessors in particular, Ms. Kim McHugh, who's led the school over the last year. It's my intention to build upon these strong foundations and lead the school informed by the charisms of the Sisters of Charity in a manner which is predicated on curiosity, empathy, truth, collaboration and excellence. I come to you with 23 years experience in Catholic education and as a committed Catholic, I look forward to walking alongside our students parents and teachers on our faith journey. I am committed to diverse learning with extensive experience in both gifted and special education, not only as a practitioner myself, but as a leader, ensuring that personalized goals, adjustments and extension are available across every classroom. As such, I look forward to extending upon the established Newman Selective Gifted Education Program and working alongside the strength of the existing diverse learning team. I wish you all a very happy and safe end of year and look forward to meeting you all in person very soon. Thank you. Thanks so much, Rebecca. Our final school this afternoon. That's all right. No, no, that's fine. Uh, did you ring the school? Sorry.
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try again there. We we get, we get the occasional glitch, and yep. so there it is. Okay, and whoever that was, I hope they did bring a school. <laughs> So our final school for today is Marist Catholic College, K-12 in North Shore. I'm pleased to appoint Mr. Anthony Boys as the principal for 2021. Anthony is a well-respected leader who is currently the principal at Marist College Eastwood, where he's shown a deep commitment to academic excellence and partnerships with staff and parents. As an innovative and pragmatic educator, he has demonstrated a capacity to engage and motivate school communities through strong leadership that is characterised by genuine expressions of faith and dedication to social justice. Congratulations, Anthony. Good afternoon and thank you, Tony. Um, thank you, Tony, for entrusting this privileged opportunity to me of being the service to the communities of St Mary's and Morris College North Shore. I'd like to acknowledge Tony, um, Father Andrew Boulogne from the St Mary's Parish and Dr Frank Malloy from Mara Schools Australia for their support through this process also. I'd like to, repay, to pay respects to the very rich and long-standing work of the Jesuit and Marist orders for their deep commitment and legacy. And similarly, to offer my sincere respect to the present leaders of St Mary's and Marist College in Beverly Coffee and Bridget Taylor, with whom I'm looking forward to meeting and working with. I'm very excited about creating a seamless, engaging and contemporary faith and learning community. <clears throat> Beg your pardon, faith and learning community as we envision both the graduate of 2033 while holding closely the vision and aspirations of the children we still serve today. It, would not, it will not only be about planning for a new and exciting future as the privilege of walking with our students remains a present and highly critical need for us. I want to acknowledge the deep and valued discernment that this community has been involved in for some time now, and with all of the staff, the parish and system, with the students and their families, and the broader North Shore community. I'm looking forward to serving this wonderful community into 2021 and beyond. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Anthony. That brings us to the end of our announcements for today. I want to thank the principals, assistant principals, parish priests, staff and parents who have tuned into the live stream this afternoon. We'll have one more round of announcements for principal positions currently being recruited, including those announced today, and I look forward to those appointments. As a community, we congratulate our leaders and look forward to working together as we come to know and love Christ through excellent teaching and learning. Thank you so much for being with us today and God bless.